welcome back everybody. I'm now standing with Brooke Nisley, the owner of the Alternative Roots Farm. And so I have a question for you. So now that the weather's really getting cold, you know, the sun is going away, it's getting darker and darker. How are you growing food? Well, I have a passive solar deep winter greenhouse that I grow microgreens and pea shoots and salad greens in all winter long, kind mm. of September through March. Mm. So how yeah. does that work? How are you able to do that? Yeah, it's a great design. So passive solar basically utilizes the power of the sun to heat the structure versus relying on fossil fuels. So now we do have backup electric heat because we still live in Minnesota and sometimes it can be zero and cloudy for several days in a row but um, it's the power of the sun. So essentially, like you're harnessing the sun in winter in a way that you wouldn't be able to do outside. Yeah, yeah. There's a four feet deep thermal bank and a circulation system that aids in the heating of the structure. What do you, so thermal bank? What does that mean? Four feet deep of rock. Oh. Yeah. And so that kind of gets charged with daytime heat when it's warm. Yeah. And um, we choose plants that can adapt to the swings in temperature. It can be 90 degrees when it's sunny or it could be 45, 50, 55 mm -hmm. at night or when mm -hmm. it's cloudy. So what so. are some types of these plants that have the ability to do that? Yeah, so um, I focus on salad greens that are mainly mustard greens, so cruciferous plants. Um, uh, many of the microgreens are also mustard greens, so we're talking like uh, brassica, uh, broccoli family plants. Mm. Um, which are well known for their beneficial health properties, mm -hmm. anti-cancer properties. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have these microgreens, I have uh, pea shoots that also grow well in there. Um, and uh, some of the health benefits of these tiny little plants that are, are packed with flavor is that they are um, uh, high in beneficial enzymes uh, from their rapid growth. Microgreens also have phytonutrients. You'll have to try a sample yeah, there. Yeah, no, of course, of course. Pea shoots are packed with vitamin C, A, K, phytonutrients and Ooh. antioxidants. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited. I've, I um, was telling you before that I've never had. So what exactly, what's this that I'm about this to eat? This is a zesty mix of microgreens. Okay, zesty mix of microgreens. <laughs> Here we go. So there's, a, there's a tiny little kick in there. Mm -hmm. They pack full flavor for a tiny little plant harvested like mm. around two weeks old. Yeah, and I have some radish microgreens. Tastes like a full-grown radish. It's, yeah. it's pretty fun. It's kind of like a, like a, a, almost like a spice, the radishy, like, is that the, like, am I crazy or was I tasting mustard as well? Is that a thing too? Yeah, or? I mean, it's, yeah, mustard greens. There's a little bit of arugula in this mix. Um, so it's just, yeah, it has full flavor. I love it with my eggs in the morning. Ooh, do you or like mix it in there or put it on? I like over easy eggs on a bed of microgreens. Ooh, <laughs> or like pea, sh pea shoots in my BLT instead of lettuce on yeah. salad wraps. They're really, really versatile. All so. right, so where yeah. can people find you? Yeah, at, um, at Alternative Roots Farm, uh, we're 23 miles west of here. We have an on-farm store mm -hmm. um, where you'll find greens all winter or whatever else is in season. Mm -hmm. um, and then upcoming this Saturday, we have the first winter Mankato farmer's market of the season. Cool. So I bring them there all winter. Here's some other items that I'll have with me on the stand. But um, you can find us the first and third Saturdays of the month at Baumgars oh. from nine to noon. All and right. Yeah, it's there's lots of vendors, great mm -hmm. holiday shopping, great way to shop local all throughout the winter. All right. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Brooke, and we'll be right back after the break.